Hello dear viewers, welcome back to Cybrosis. So today in this video, let's talk about the field cleaning which you can find inside the data cleaning module of Odoo 70. So field cleaning is basically used to clean the data or format the data which you use inside Odoo. Okay, so you will be having certain records in different fields and all. So it's very, you know, basic thing to clean it or to keep it neat. So in, by using this field cleaning, you can actually correct the typos, correct the spaces between them and also the formats and all can be corrected. So before doing this, what you have to do is you have to set these field cleaning rules. So for that, you can go to the configuration and from there you can set these rules and then you can clean your data. So let's move on to the module and see how the cleaning is done. Okay, so now let me show you how to create cleaning rules and how the cleaning is done. So for that, let's open the data cleaning module. Here is the data cleaning. Okay, now once you open it, first thing which you have to do is go to configuration and under the configuration, you have certain things like the deduplication, recycling records and field cleaning. Okay, so go to field cleaning over here. You have one field cleaning rule which is already created. So I'm going to create a new one. So as you all know, once you give the name of the model, the name of the model will be taken as the name of the cleaning rule. So I'm putting it as contact. So we already have this name, right? I'm putting contact new. And then you have clean mode, which is manual and automatic. So once you're choosing automatic means, based on the conditions which we give, the cleaning will be done automatic. And if it's manual means the you know results and all will come. We have to do the cleaning manually. That is, we can do the cleaning manually. And this is to notify users about the new records which are to be cleansed. Okay, so you have this uh, Michelle Edmund and you can even choose the other person. Then you have the option that is how often this should be notified. Then you can choose days, weeks, months, whatever it is. So I'm putting it as every one week and notify Michelle Edmund that is about the data which has to be cleaned. Okay, now you have these rules and also the option to keep it active. Now let me add a rule. Okay, so once you click on add rule, such a wizard comes and here you have to choose the field which is to be cleaned. So let the field be name. Okay, so I'm putting it as name. So this is the name of the contact. Now what I'm going to do is trim all spaces. So I have to trim spaces in between the, you know, contacts which we are creating. So let it be trim all spaces. And I'm going to create one more that is also over the name. So this is the name and I'm going to set type case. So if you want to, you know, set first letter to uppercase, all letter to uppercase or even all to lowercase. So I'll put as all to uppercase, then saving and closing it. So I've added two rules, which is to add, uh, you know, I mean, convert everything to uppercase and also trim spaces. Okay. So. I'll do one thing. I'm going to save this. Okay, contact new. Now let's go to the contacts module. Okay. And then I'm going to create a new, you know, contact. So here's the contact and I'm putting it to. No, I'm not putting capital letters. Okay. So I'm putting the name as Alina with a lot of spaces, simply saving it. And then let's go back to the data cleaning. So here's the data cleaning. Go to configuration and open the field cleaning. So you have this contact new, which is the one which we created. Go on and click on clean. So you have these much records which satisfy your need. I'm going to search for Alina. Okay, let's see where ours is, our record is. So I'm simply searching it, okay? Then. So this is my record. I'm going to search for it. So the thing is that there are lots of data. See, here comes the data which we created. Okay, Alina. And this is what the suggested results look like. That is the space in between is cut. And also you can see all of the data is converted into capital letter. Now, I'll simply go to the cleaning rule and change it a little bit. Now here we have one, I'm going to change it to first letters to uppercase only. So this will convert only the first letters to uppercase. Now I'm going to clean it once again. So let's search for our data, which we've inserted. Not this one. Clean and let's search. 
So let's see. See. Here we have Aditya. Okay. So you know this is what I've entered. This is how I entered the name. Now this has been cleaned as the spaces is trimmed and also the first letter is changed to capital letter. I'm validating it. Okay, so that is validated. Now let's go back to the contact module and check whether the cleaning is done or not. Okay, so here you can see the one which we created which is Alina where the spaces is trimmed and the first letters changed to capital letter. So the clean data will be updated here under the contacts. So this is how basically you can do the cleaning. So that's how the field cleaning configuration is done. I hope it's clear for you guys. Thank you so much for watching. See you in the next video.